Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. An American father who spent 18,000 pounds traveling to Warsaw to see Taylor Swift with his daughter and her friends was told to try and sneak into the venue by StubHub after he asked if his tickets were legitimate. Rob Vollmer, from Washington, D.C., is currently in Warsaw with his 15-year-old daughter Jane and six of her friends. The father, who works in political campaigns and is the chair of the Children's Museum of D.C., purchased eight tickets to see the megastar on Saturday through resale platform StubHub. StubHub is not an official resale site but has customer guarantee meaning it will refund any buyers who are not allowed into the venue. When buying the tickets, Rob was told they would need to be personalized, meaning his name would have to go on them and he would have to show ID to get into the venue. However the seller failed to put the tickets in his name and he was assured by StubHub this wouldn't be an issue. When staff at the PGE Narodowy in Warsaw said he wouldn't be allowed in with tickets not in his name. StubHub advised him to find a busy entrance gate and try to sneak in without ID. Female has contacted StubHub for comment. He now fears that he won't get into the venue, which will leave his swifty daughter and her friends heartbroken. What do you tell these little kids, he told Female. I've been talking to other people in this situation, whose kids are breaking down and crying because they're not being let in. The 14-time Grammy winner kicked off the first of three nights in the Polish capital last night as part of her record-breaking billion-dollar tour. Thousands of Americans like Rob traveled to the Europe to catch the singer, with the resale value of her tickets significantly less expensive than in the U.S. Speaking about his nightmare journey to female, Rob, who regularly travels to Poland to do charity work with Ukrainian refugees, explained, I spoke to the venue 10 days ago and they said we have to have our tickets personalized or we won't be let in. In total, I've spent 37 hours and 42 minutes speaking to StubHub, it's a different stories from every person, it's crazy. When I first spoke to them, they said they will give the sellers until a week before the gig. When that didn't happen they said until Monday. When that didn't happen they said we had until a day before, and I was told if we didn't get in they would arrange alternative tickets. We've got tickets right at the front, we don't want alternatives. They say personalization isn't necessary. In fact, speaking on the phone they said we got one personalized. When I looked, it was the wrong font they had photoshopped an image. I thought that was crazy but I've spoken to other people that's also happened to. Rob explained that he StubHub were hoping that venues would be the same as Munich or London, where fans got in without ID despite being told they need it, but Poland has stricter laws. There are literally thousands of us in Warsaw right now who have bought tickets through the resellers and now cannot enter the stadium for the show he explained. StubHub's app even has a pop-up about this before you can buy tickets to this show and during checkout process you have to enter the names you want to appear on the ticket. The lack of consistency in messaging is alarming. Some agents say they will contact the seller about making the name change. Others say there is no need as they have information from the venue that ticket personalization will not be enforced. While Rob explained that he will get the £7,700 he spent on tickets back if he doesn't get into the venue, he spent an additional £10,300 on travel with his daughter and her friends traveling from Washington, D.C., another friend traveling from Wisconsin and others coming from Amsterdam and Poland. Rob added that he's used StubHub for years, including going to several concerts in Poland, and the gigs have always required personalization. I've emailed to the COO directly and they looked me up on LinkedIn but never replied. I've spent $70,000 on StubHub in total, going to concerts, college football and the World Series. Tickets for Taylor Swift were $6,000 in Miami, but so much cheaper in Europe. We could have a whole trip for the same price. I think a lot of people are reselling resold tickets so aren't able to change the name. I tease diff.